Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to continue playing Metroid Other M. ということで本日も Metroid Other M の続きをプレイしていきたいと思います。それでは行きましょう。Okay. さあさあさあ、新しいクリーチャーですね。Oh, what the hell? Something big enough to attack really. リドリーを、はい、プラス一撃でやってきしまうやつですね。あぶな。ですよね。ですよね。お、お、お。あ、です。ね。や。判定が厳しいああほらおうジェームズガードボロボロにやられている。Hey, another elevator. I think. Chi? Kana? Ridori no chi kana? Could be Ridley's blood. Oh! Ridley. Yeah, what is that? Do I have to just hold on a minute? So I can't shoot. I can't do anything. Um, and it's pointing that way. Okay. This door. この静けさが怖いですね。あ、thank you。Um, this way. MW. Yeah, this is a room that Adam was talking about. Adam が言ってた部屋ですね。ただ、it's locked. Every door is locked.、Um, oh man, I have a really bad feeling about this. It looks like a tube that comes from the floor. And there's already like six of them sticking out. Which means I have to fight like maybe six enemies. Oh, come on, please don't do this. 
This is the door, right? Okay. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it that I have to do here? ここでやることってなんじゃらほい Every time I get closer to these doors, it zooms in. で、こっちの扉もそうなんですが、近づくとズーム、あ、いたあ、there, there you are. Hello. Hey. Hey. Oh, God. Ah. まさかの脳返しです脳からの脳返しあおおえー、hello miss lady what what she closed this tiny window 閉められましたねこの窓を小窓を閉められましたね。あーん。あーん。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。Uh oh. What? I'm in awe. Oh my god. Yeah, bye. Ooh. スキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいスキャンしたいオフボールオフボールオフボールあぁカマンうわぁあぁカマン Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, yeah, this is how you do it. Got it, got it. It's a little too late, though. Ah, what's going on? Ah. Oh, sweet. Whoa. Whoa. ちょっと手いっぱいなんですけどあ
Oh my god. どうすんのこれ Metroid Heaven, Jesus. Metroid, too big, de show. やるかあほいあいってのりきよせて。ことでしょう。うん、チャンス。よし。ラストワン、ラストワン。Come on, get up, get up. おい、こいこい、こいこい、へいへいへい。おい。バイバイ。よし。ああ、大変だったよー。オーケー。Here we go。Whoa。ああ。
あれ外した嘘うん間に合えカーポンもないああ危ねえよいしょ。No time for that. No time. 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 グラップリングおおえ What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Wait a minute. え Let's try this again. ここまでは合ってるよね。OK。グラップリングで入る。入ってどうする ?What am I? うおぉ、おぉ、わぁ、わぁ、わぁ。I'm placing a lot of bombs there. どういうことだろうこういうことおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおー Slash bean thingy when you are morphing into a ball. Oh. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I just saved her life. Easy. I won't come any closer until you say so. My name is Samus. I'm an independent bounty hunter. I know the situation here and I know how you must feel. 
I'm here to secure your safety. May I come closer? What's your role at this facility? I'm responsible for all operations. My name is Madeline Bergman. What? Wait a minute. I met another woman who called herself Madeline Bergman. What's going on here? What you met was M.B. She's an android. She was created with the intellectual data of Mother Brain, and consequently developed Mother Brain's consciousness as well. What? The Federation's foolish plan. Mother Brain's rampage. Everything that happened here was just as Madeline, or rather M.B., had told me. The person who sabotaged the system to stop MB's rampage and sent out the distress call had to be the person standing before me. It had to be Madeline Bergman. MB was the artificial intelligence originally developed to regenerate and control Space Pirate Special Forces. Because we wanted it to control these Special Forces through telepathy, we were forced to model its infrastructure after Mother Brain. At that time, MB didn't have a human form. Before long, we started to see the viability of creating Metroid clones. Once we did, MB started to take on her current shape. But why? Because we needed the first Metroid hatchling to recognize MB as its mother, she had to take on the form of a living thing. With that as our theoretical basis, we were able to create the ideal relationship with the Metroid. One that wasn't based on dominance or control. I remember the baby hatching before my eyes. When it attacked Mother Brain in order to save me, that was the result of the kind of ideal relationship they were trying to develop with MB. They found the perfect means of control and started propagating Metroids in Sector Zero. At the same time, they were conducting genetic manipulation experiments to create unfreezable Metroids. Apparently, the queen I met earlier was the first of these propagated Metroids to mature. They wanted to preserve her as a control specimen, so they had left her genes unaltered. The fact that she'd grow into a queen was something not even Madeline and her team could have predicted. Only special infants had the genetic coding to become queens. Once our MB was in a human form, she excelled. As an interface between us and them, her skills with personal interaction humanized her to a great extent. If my theory is correct, this is going Fast. to be a groundbreaking multi-system for artificial intelligence. Her confidence was unwavering, and her ability to learn was greater than we'd expected, but then... She developed emotions, then a nascent sense of herself. She began asserting her own thoughts, and her opinions began to contradict ours. It's quite typical for artificial intelligence to evolve as a result of self-analysis. However, there's no precedent for an AI like MB developing emotions. It's possible that her interactions with the Metroids brought it about, but we don't know for sure. The newly hatched infant took to her like his mother. And perhaps at that moment, MB began to develop a soul. It was all conjecture, but the idea wouldn't leave my mind. And that was when we decided to alter her AI program. A human-like existence, but one without feelings. To make MB less than human, 
The researchers had to deny her that consciousness. I knew this. But in my heart, I felt sympathy for MB. On the day we were going to alter MB's program, Right before my eyes. Come on, come on. No! I watched her being restrained. Stop! What are you doing to her? These orders are from above. Take her away. Wait. Wait. She reached out to me and asked Calm me down. for help. No. But there was nothing I could do. What? What's happening? My presence no. that day caused a disturbing reaction in her. She was fixated on me. Madeline had taken to calling MB Melissa. She took the initials MB and told the AI they stood oh, for Melissa, Melissa Bergman. It looks great on you. MB liked that name. It made it sound like Madeline was calling her her daughter. Whoa. Once she felt abandoned and hunted by that same Madeline, MB telepathically commanded the special forces to revolt. The facility fell into complete chaos. Oh. It suffered widespread damage. <laughs> MB was trying to get revenge on the Federation Army and on us. It's possible all humans have become the target of her hatred. With the space pirates under her control, she was able to propagate the Metroids in Sector Zero, even creating a Queen Metroid. She was well armed and planning her attack on the Galactic Federation. But Adam and I crushed her plan completely. And now, who could guess where she was and what she planned next? She's backed into a corner. And her hatred is entirely focused on you and me right now. <gasps> oh. MB! She's got a gun. <sighs> yeah, wait. Wait, MB, calm down. Please listen. Madeline, step back. You... I mean, we were wrong. It's all over. Madeline! I was not wrong. The humans were foolish, and I was forced to bring judgment on them. And yet, because of you, I failed. You must understand the weight of your crime. You must pay the price for what you've done. Please, MB. We have to get past this. No. You will all be judged. It's okay now. I won't ever fail you again. I promise. I'm so sorry. Melissa. Melissa, it looks great on you. That's your name. Oh. Melissa! Let's go! Move!
怖い怖い怖いやばいやばいどこどこあー目の前にいる待っちゃうわいやーちょっと待ってくれ。急に来たな。That was so sudden.I wasn't expecting that at all.Okay, let's do this again.Okay, okay, okay. okay. ああ、もう。ああ。やばいー外したやばい近い近い近い死ぬーうわー連打した方がいいのかな This is hard レンダーしたほうが良さそうだなうわちょっと待ってちょっと待ってセンサーがサマンあ見えない見えない Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ah, lend us to more difficult. Just sensor. No, it's different. I'm just gonna change this 
sensor. I'm gonna reposition it. Whoa. Okay, um... Okay, this is hard. <laughs> Yo, Masi, Muri, Yaha, Ooh. Samasarin, I heard what happened. You performed admirably. You can leave the rest to us. to think that his entire unit was annihilated. Truly a tragic day. Would you agree, Aaron? Sadly, with them gone, you're just an outsider. And given your unofficial status, I cannot allow you contact with the witness. With your predilection for transporting illegal cargo like infant Metroids, I must ask that you restrict your... <laughs> Time for the lady to go home. Someone escort her. Yes, sir. Time for us to go. Come on, princess. Huh? What? Stop right there. Who are you? Oh. Oh. Anthony Hicks, sir. Galactic Federation Platoon 7. 
He's alive. I need to secure the safety of any survivors. Commander Malkovich's orders and the purpose of this mission. What? Authorized by the chairman of the Galactic Federation. Of course. What do you mean, the chairman? Oh, man, you guys made it here quick. I mean, if I hadn't stopped the engine, oh. we might have missed each other. Sibarashi. Good job, man. Good job. But I still don't know how I beat the last one. Crazy. Crazy how something good can come out of something bad. Yeah, you fell to the lava. Well, didn't mean to wake her. Guess I ought to be quiet. Anthony was trying to be courteous to Madeline. She was exhausted and had only just fallen asleep. She needed the rest. She had a lot of explaining to do once she got to Galactic Federation headquarters. For herself. And for Melissa. Still can't get my head around it. What a crazy mission. <sighs> Anthony sighed as he muttered to himself. What would have happened if we hadn't been called there? Might the furious MB have attacked the Galactic Federation and brought about its utter destruction? Melissa wasn't insane, no. One day, a consciousness simply bloomed within her. And those that caused it to bloom, the humans, called it insanity. I was the insane one. That was what Madeline muttered softly as she sank into sleep. The selfish conceits of humans drove envy to violence. It was their distorted perceptions and greed that awoke such fury in the fledgling girl's heart. Her thought was to punish the foolish and conceited. But MB could not complete her mission. As Melissa, she was defeated. With their one vulnerability overcome, the Metroids were indestructible. If some fool just following orders had taken the savage creatures to those who sought them, I can't imagine what would have happened if Adam hadn't recognized the looming danger. But the cost was far too great. Why did Adam have to pay with his life? For me, I couldn't believe he was dead. For the first time, I questioned his choice. No objections, right lady? I heard Adam's voice in my head. and I knew in my heart that he had made the right decision. Just as he had so many years ago. In that moment, I swore not to grieve his death. And for the first time, I gave him a thumbs up. Just in case he was watching over me. <laughs> His amused expression looked as though he wanted to say something. His face and Adam swirled together. That last smile as Adam drifted away.
はいということでねクリアしましたね So I did it guys took me a while but yes I did it いやーちょっとね最後ラスボスだったんですね Yeah I didn't realize the last battle was the final boss so yeah no wonder it was very hard 道理でね、ものすごい手こずったわけですけれども、まあ、なんとかね、クリアできたんでね。メトロイドは、そうですね。まあ、思えばね、スーファミでね、やったのが初めてですね。スーパーメトロイドが初めてなんですけど、まあ、非常にね、面白い作品なのでね、まあ、シリーズ化されてね、あの、また新しいのもどんどん出ていくっていうことでね、また楽しみなんですけれども、まあ、今回はね、えー、まあ、少しね、あのー、まあ、ドラマチックなね、シーンが多かったかなという印象ですね。まあ、あのー、いい意味でですよ。いやー、大変でしたね。<笑>すごい疲れましたね。So yeah, um, this Metro series, um, I first started On the Super Nintendo one, the Super Metroid was the first one, and、um, I think I played another one,、um, which was totally um, um, FPS. So that one was hard too, but this one was also hard, especially the last one. The last battle was very, very hard, as you know that I died like a zillion times, and、um, it was just. Hell that I thought that I was never gonna win, but yeah, somehow I got to win, so yeah, that was a little that was a, actually a big surprise. So, and I mean, the movie scenes were a lot, I mean, it was a little cheesy, you know, in some ways. The timing and the gestures and the directions on the actors were you know, it was a little cheesy, but yeah, I mean, um. It's,、uh, it's another way to、um, you know, show this,、uh, this game、um, move forward. So, it's, I guess it's okay because it's all about, it's, it's, I mean, it's more about the, the,、uh, the action and the ideas of、um, bringing the old ideas into、um, adapting to the new one and making it look. So that was、um, impressing, and I had a lot of fun with it. So, if you guys have any you know, chance to play this game,、um, I totally recommend it. And、uh, since this is a Wii game,、um, I think you could download、um, with, I think with the Nintendo Club、um, on the retro areas that you could download from,、um, I don't know, like Wii. Something Wii Store or Nintendo Store.、Um, I think on the new Nintendo Switch, too, you could actually、um, do that. Or maybe not,、um, it will. So if you have a chance, please do play this game. It's awesome.、Um, the action is very challenging, which will give you a lot of different perspectives. And I had a lot of trouble、um, using the controllers because you, once you're doing the action、um, sideways, Um, you have to you know, rotate the controllers to、um, heal yourself and regenerate、um, the missiles, and, and also you, know, you have to rotate it and,、um, vertically to,、um, to look at the,、uh, to switch it to the search mode and actually hit the weak points. And that's like a little routine that you first attack. Um, in the,、uh, the TPS mode, and then once it gets a little weaker, you switch it to the FPS mode, and then you start like shooting. But while you're in the FPS mode, you can't move. So, in order to move or dodge, you have to、um, rotate the controller again, and then you dodge and do whatever. And then, if you have a chance, you switch it back to.、Um, Vertical,、um, in vertical way, and then you attack again with the missile. So that was new, and it was also、um, challenging, like I said. So,、um, yeah, I mean, it was different and it was fun. So, 
yeah, it was great. でね、あのー、非常に、ね、難しいゲームではあったんですけれども、今、あのー、お安くなってますのであの、ダウンロードもね、できたりしますし、まあ、ぜひね、機会がある方は遊んでみてください。Oh, there's more! Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the bottle ship. 続きですね。A mission that will most likely be carried out in the next day or two. I'm heading toward the bottle ship now. I'm going to rescue something that was left there. Something that can't be replaced. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 there's more. Oh. Power bomb got scared you know, Now I can use the power bomb. いやー、ちょっと待ってよ。ここでちょっと終わりにしたいところなんですけれども。そうですね。一回切りますか。今回ね、最終回だと思っていたので、あの、特に考えてなかったんですけども、一旦ここで切りましょう。で、次回ね、えー、この続きを、えー、プレイしたいと思います。So, um, I thought this was it. So, I was gonna end this,、uh, this series, but, um, I guess there's more in, on the bottom, bottom right Um, side, it just showed up that I could use now. I could use the power bomb, which I totally forgot about. So now I can go to maybe different areas and maybe discover more items and more,、um, more things that's hidden in this、um, bottle ship. So、um, I would like to continue this on my next video. So, yes,、um, I'm also eager, I'm also the one who's eager to know what's going to happen and if there's a story.、Um, Behind, and if there's more,、um, I'd like to know, but I'm gonna stop here for today, so yeah, I know.、Um, but yes, I hope to see you guys on my next video. All right, take care, guys. ということでね、えっ、ー、と、本日はね、ここまでしたいと思います。またね、えー、どうやら続くみたいなので、続きはまた次回ということで、えー、お楽しみに。それではまた。